girl, no, the first thing that come in your head when I see this bag is, girl, the chill is not here. This, this ain't even giving you money here. This giving me shake away immediately. See how I can transform this dirty, matted wig into a cute wearable wig. I'm sure I'll exactly how to work my magic on all the wigs to get rid of this. This one's how I get to wear outside. Ain't nobody going nowhere with this. It makes me look at you too out there. Baby, you can give us something. Okay, so now that I'm in this complicated, we can only use things that we have at home, and these are the things that I use. So, the first product that you would need is an anti breakage leave in conditioner. You must have this home. Then a regular replenishing conditioner. I use in the olive oil one. You could use any conditioner, it really doesn't matter. The Haley Secret Potion. This is the train one daily moisturizer, hair repairer, and steam treatment. Then you would need two brushes. What are them is the tangling brushes. This one here, I find this one looks much better. But I use this one here, get dry. This one I use when the hair was wet. Some oil, you could use any oil you want. I use castor oil and rosemary water. So this is the wig that I'm currently working with, y'all. The wig is over bleached. It's very nutty. It just crusty looking on the whole. So you wanna get an old part that big enough to hold the wig. You fill it up with water and you put it to boil. Before the water even starts to boil, when some put some conditioner in it, this is the amount of conditioner I put, and then I put like two finger scoops or whatever of leave-in conditioner. Mix it up. That is how much products I use for my wig. If you know your wig in worse condition than mine, then I recommend paying more leave-in conditioner. Let the water boil. Put your wig inside of the water. You can turn off the stove at this point because you know you really want to overcook your wig. Okay, so what I did and what I recommend that you do too is as soon as you put in your wig, you take up the stove and you leave your wig soaking for like about 15 minutes. I did 15 minutes before I come it out. But before you do that, you would want to make sure that your whole wig under the water and soaking up the conditioner, y'all. Anyway, so try the 15 minutes, you want to keep coming and checking in on your wig. The water is looking a little dirty because I didn't wash the wig previously, but that's besides the point. Okay, so after I leave the wig to soak for 15 minutes, you want to take the wig out and you want to comb out where I brush out the wig from the bottom to the top. If you try to do it from the top to the bottom, you'll lose a lot of hair. While brushing it out, you want to keep adding product into here. I was adding the conditioner instead of the leave-in conditioner. This guy feel like if that was softening the hair much more than the leave-in conditioner. Also, please do not attempt to use a regular brush to comb out the hair. That will make your hair get super frizzy. Get a detangling brush and comb it out. You can get them pennywise for like between $13 and $30. The next step is to wash out your wig with warm or hot water. After you finish washing it out, you're squeezing out all the water from it. Make sure and get all the conditioner out and you're adding some laundry softener. Yes, it's clothing softener. Because it's a really short wig, I only added like two covers of conditioner and then I leave it, let it soak in for like about five more minutes. Anyways, yo, so I put on an next amount for like five minutes for the hair to soak into the conditioner. Not the conditioner, for the clothes softener to soak into the hair. The hair already looking good, it's already looking soft and nice and coming out so gorgeous already. I can't wait to put it back on. I told y'all I was going to eat and I even finished it. I still have to moisturize the hair, comb it out and do all of that. And the hair already looking that good. And I found a professional hairdresser, so imagine what you could do. You could do the same thing. Hope you enjoy this tutorial so far because you know your girl is doing her thing and teaching you how to look good on our budget. You know, for the girls that need, for the girls that pocket a little empty, a little shallow, you only have much in it. I'm here for you. I, I got you all. Anyways, grow keys. The next thing that you want to do is rinse out the wig in hot water again finish combing it out by now it should hardly have any nuts in here the hair is supposed to be really silky smooth and just 
Really cool, I'm true. Okay, so we back upstairs and now we go and moisturize and detangle, finish detangle the hair. So I was really focusing on the top of the hair because in my wig that's bad that was most damaged. If your wig have more damage to the bottom, then you could focus on moisturizing the bottom, combing out the bottom and all of that. But as you can see the texture, the top of my wig is different from the bottom because that is where I was, you know, combing it out more, doing different styles with the top of the wig. So I was putting in some hair oil here just to lock in all of the other products that I put. This is how the wig looking so far, looking really nice. Y'all can see the difference from how I was looking before, right? I know y'all can see that. Okay, so I now done moisturize the hair and detangle it, brush it out, everything. So I not gonna blow dry the hair, I'm gonna leave it air dry for probably like about an hour to two hours. Just to make sure that all the product goes into the hair and just you know soaking before by any breeze or anything like that. So I just gonna let it air dry and I'll come back and show you all it. But as y'all can see, it's a major improvement. Like I did this. Now the hair could brush, you know. And it's actually looking wavy, it's looking curly, it's not looking frizzy and just, you know, nasty. So, yeah, while I air dry and I'll come back and I'll show you. Oh yeah, and this is optional, but I like to use it. It is some fabric softener. I find it so good. I don't know, it have mixed reviews on it, but I, nobody ever tell me to use this. I saw a couple of people include it. And I feel like if it, it does work good for me, so I just put it all on. But this is this is optional, and I don't have to do this. You can skip this part if you want. But I would recommend putting some fabric softener on your wig. Look at this. This hair is smelling so good and nice and curly. It like the wig bumps back. It come. It's given very much Brazilian. It's, and it didn't even finish dry yet. So imagine when it fully dry, so much better. You want your wig to look like this? I know. But.